The eighties did a real good job of of like underplaying hatred. Like you were you talked about you watched Footloose today mm-hmm. and you're always like, What was the motivation behind they wouldn't let d- anyone dance? I remember the reason why. It was because the Reverend's uh son uh they went out her, him and his friends went out to some kind of a dance yeah. thing club or something and they got drunk and they came home and they got into a car accident and died. But they He's always blamed. He's like, well, it's that partying and dancing is the problem. And <laughs> dancing so stopped, is the gateway drug. So they got rid yeah, of, <laughs> that da- dancing leads to heroin. It's always the case. So yeah. they got rid of dancing. In the t- I watched the original, by the way. Not some, not that foofy remake they made. Was I'm that? Who was in the they remake? They made a remake of Footloose? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have, no. Can you find the remake trailer so we can It'll show make you furious <laughs> how yeah. bad it is? No one understands Footloose is great because of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> yeah. Same with the, same with the, flat, the Flatliners remake. Oh, no stars. Oh, it's not even a popular star. It's a guy that... Obviously, we'll never hear from again. Wait, who is that? Guy? Watching? No, it's here. like uh, this is hey, a cartoon. Jacob, this is an ad. I know. It's a, it's a weirdly long ad. <laughs> Uh-huh. But uh yeah, this is uh the Footloose, the new one. Yeah, it was really they really queefed it up. When did it hard. come out? Two thousand eleven. Two thousand eleven. Really that long ago? I thought it was actually sooner, sooner than, than that. that. Yeah. yeah, we getting old. Uh, yeah, God, right when the. Re- so they're all dancing. Oh, they're going to show the actual. Oh, so oh, this is the Uncle Ben gets killed. This is the Waynes being murdered outside the opera. Yeah, they're going to keep doing it. They go, anyways, these kids died. These, How many times do these children need to die in order for us to outlaw dancing? How do you get John Lithgow and Kevin Bacon replaced and Impossible. just make it like a... By who, though? Who's the Lithgow? A bubble gummy, like... A let's kids hit, movie. Let's hit play. Let's see who the lift guy is. Missing from our children's Dennis lives. Dennis Quaid! They are ours to protect. Oh, that's the girl from Dancing with the Stars. Oh, it's Quaid. Myers. It's Andy McDowell. Yeah, Juliana Huff. Huff. Huff, yeah. Dancing's Outlaw. MTV Films. Hey. Hey. He's here. I'm a, I'm a cool guy. Why are you taking me I really want to pull my own weight around here. If you can get this baby running, she's all yours. Oh, reference to the first okay, one. The door sticks and uh, the gas pedal's missing. A couple of the, uh, it, hey, it's a fixer up. Uh oh. He's cute. You think everybody's cute? Hey, watch where you're going, little guy. Sorry, man, I didn't see you. Is that Miles oh, Teller? Like and Miles Teller, Teller is, Miles his, Taylor. Uh, is his, is his, is Chris Penn character? Yeah. yeah. Is Willard? It? Yeah, that's a good cast, though, because Miles Teller, I think, is best in that role. You think that's what I think he he's best in the bad guy, Jock. But he's not a bad guy. No, he Willard's plays great the, guy. He plays Wait, the, in this role, he doesn't play yeah. bad guy? No, that's how they meet in both movies. They bump uh, shoulders in the hallway, and then he's like, he says something to Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon says something back, and then he goes... Ah, oh, you're all right. And yeah. they end up coming. Oh, okay. And then he teaches them how to dance. Oh, that's yeah. right, that's right. Then they're like, they have boys. The scene, yeah, they have yeah, the scene with that. Chris Penn and... Let's hear for the boys. We're yeah. teaching them how to dance. Let's hear for the boys. Let's hear for my baby. By the way, you, you know, know... you gotta yeah. understand. <laughs> If you know the background of Willard, <laughs> comes out you guys are huge Footloose fans. Yeah. That's Maybe what this he's is really Romeo. About. I am. Big, I'm a big fan of Footloose. You, you watch it today. I watch it today. <laughs> if you think about the character of Willard, he would. He's like one of those marchers. He would flip out if another man asked him to teach him to dance. Who am I, some Jew fag? Yeah. Hey I man. I, 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 I know it's, it's like middle of the country, but no one had a race issue at all. Yeah. There's no black people in the movie. None. That's how you don't have race issues. Yeah. That, is, that is the way to avoid it. You're right. Separatism is the answer. You heard it here first. Andrew Schultz, everybody. <laughs> Separatism is the answer. Let it play. Um, yeah, let it play. Talk funny? Mm-hmm. You should hit you for my end. What's up, man? I'm Willard. I'm Ren. McCormick. Uh, that, hold on. That was his comeback? Yeah. That's actually the original line. Did they redo this, like, line for line? I don't know. I don't know if anyone in this movie, in this room, has seen the Footloose remake. You talk I funny. Waste my you time. should put yourself in someone else's shoes and walk a mile before you judge yeah, their yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Are you mentally retarded? <laughs> Why are you talking in Proverbs? I don't know, man. Are you fucked up? Uh, he who talks in Proverbs <laughs> shall walk forth uh, with a wise man. Yeah, goes, that's am, all he talks about. He goes, I am given a staff for that to walk forward, and thou <laughs> shall not judge them. A man who represents himself as a fool for a client. Teach a man to fish. Teach a man to fish. You man? eat forever. Why are you talking in voodoo? Why are you wearing a skinny tie and talking to me like that? He goes, have you heard the good news? 
<laughs> Jehovah's a win- <laughs> You know what I like this movie so much? When I moved to Ohio for that one half of school year, yeah. I really it really came down look now, granted, I wasn't able to bring a prom to town. True. I was not able to I was not able to get dancing uh legalized again when I went to Ohio. But <laughs> I did get that they really did that fucking like what's up city what's up city boy what's what's up? Up? and i was like really like are we doing this thing because that leads to the fight that I'll, oh uh, yeah so let's watch the rest of this dumb remake and then we can get to the actual original the good movie what's the deal with the preacher's daughter you think i'm small town huh she worth all that attitude you want to say something I killed I'll tell you what they did. I killed you. Want to see something? He goes, I murdered a man. <laughs> she goes, we take lives here. We don't dance, but we kill. <laughs> Bodies by the tracks. That girl, Julianne Huff, yeah. is lights out so much better looking than that skinny animal they put in with poor Kevin Bacon. <laughs> I mean, that girl looked like a man skeleton. She was so awful looking. And at the end of the movie, when he pulls up, when he pulls up on prom, and she looks like somebody put a fucking dress on a string bean, he goes... You're beautiful. And she goes, what? And you're almost like, dude, this is your moment to be like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he doesn't. He goes, I mean it. You are beautiful. And I'm like, come on, Kevin Bacon. Stop being nice to this Now you're being meaner because you're not acknowledging Yeah, now you're not letting like her know. How is she the hottest chick in school? Yeah, well, let's play the rest of this so we can get to the actual clips so you can see it. Because this is pretty good. Oh. There's no ethnics in Footloose. Oh, they dance in a parking lot. What, am I grounded? Do I got to go to prison? What, what am I going to do with you? There's nothing to do, Daddy. This is it. Wow. 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 I've seen this guy in the car crash coming home from a dance, and that's when the whole town went crazy. You want to go out and get some cheap food? You can tell you what. Outside of if you have just... One black cast member in a Footloose movie, you bet now everybody in the movie can't be an actor. They have to be a professional dancer. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. guess, you're, you're like, all right, guys, we're going to have to bring some ethnicities into this, yeah. which means we're going to have to really up. We can't make Kevin Bacon quality dancing your best dancer. Yeah, we have to bring it. We have to have Dancing with the Stars, national television dancing. We can't let Fat Chris Penn and Kevin Bacon pull anchor here on all the you're fucking dancing. About her. You're talking about the sister from Pet Cemetery. Oh, my God. Dude, Lori Singer. By the way, look at her now. She looks Looks like that, but like she has no hair. She looks like a broomstick with its like all the broom stuff. Oh, coming we gotta off see. Of it. I need to see a better oh, picture what? of this. Go closer. Can I get a close up? Oh look at her. God, she looks like Daryl Hammond a little bit. She also looks like the lead Daryl singer. Hammond. She looks like Daryl Hammond. <laughs> you meant Hannah. <laughs> Daryl Hammond after a bender. He goes, Let's hey, what's up? Up? Hey, what's She's not. What are you She's talking not about? Horrible, right there. Yeah, it's okay. She it's was horrible bad. in the beginning. I mean, you really have something against her. I don't think. She yeah, you bad. don't like this girl at all. You know what? Anytime there's a skinny girl who I can be like, fuck her, makes me feel good about myself. There you, you know? go. I'm like, you know what? I didn't want to be with her. Who That's cares? Honest. There you go. That's That's honest. See, she's cute. She's so cute behind Kevin, right there. Yeah, Kevin e- brings no, out her eyes. Kevin Bacon makes her look like a sloth. Well, he was play. gorgeous in that movie. I fuck. totally disagree. I never understood the cat and Jackin love. Huh? I never got it. Yeah. I, I never got the Kevin Bacon love. I get it. In Footloose? You guys no, are crazy. just in general. I never understood why P. He was so adored. Oh, I never got it as uh why well, she always he's always good in movies. Or oh, the other one, Pollock or he's something. Good What's in that movies. guy's name? Kevin Pollock? Not Kevin Pollock. There's another guy who was in all these movies. White guy, uh he was in that movie about like records or something like that. Oh, John Cusack. John Cusack. Yeah, yeah that was another guy I don't understand. Really? Oh, Patrick Dempsey was goofy looking too, but yeah. he got really handsome. But I just don't understand why that like people are, oh my god, Patrick like or not Patrick uh, John Cusack or Kevin Bacon. Like they seem like nice guys, but I don't get. That's it's, all they gave him. Nice guy that's, handsome. All, that's all they gave really? you in the eighties. Yeah, it's nice. You need a nice guy handsome in the eighties, and that works more than like Tom Cruise, who was. Just yeah, well, it. Tom Cruise was like you know, look Fucking at that Top Gun, bro. Tom Cruise, though, to everyone will say terrible actor. Tom Cruise? No. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, most people say pretty terrible actor. No. He's Tom Cruise is a beast of an actor, bro. Mm. He's a great actor. What? Who's Tom, Tom Cruise is a terrible yeah. actor. A great actor? Like in a strong, like he's dramatic a good, role? Yeah, he's a good actor. Oh, you see Jack Reacher? Isn't uh, it like Vanilla Sky? Isn't that Yeah. yeah. Vanilla Sky Jack, is great. Vanilla Sky is terrible. Great Jack movie. Reacher is uh, an Jack action Jack Reacher is an action movie. Yeah, but he's been in a ton of movies. No, they're all like, he's a Mission Impossible guy. A few good men. have to act to pull the off. Vin Diesel's a horrible actor, but right. Tom Cruise is a great actor. I don't think he's a great actor. I don't think he's, I don't a, think he's a great actor. And by the way, I like Tom Cruise movies, many of them. Yeah. I'm just saying you know, Top Gun is fantastic, but I don't think he's a great actor. Okay, who's the most... Okay, this is a good question. Who is the best... And I was having this the other night. Who is the best dramatic and comedic actor? They can do both. Uh, oh, Jim Carrey. 
Mm. I, I'll say Jim Carrey. For me, the movies, he's, his he's dramatic movies, my... and, if, and if not him, it's got just for like uh, I'll tell the you hierarchy this. is Robin Williams. I'll tell you, yeah, Robin Williams. I don't like his That's comedy at all. That's top three. Kevin Spacey. Kevin's great. Kevin Spacey can act his ass off on both dramatic and comedy. What really comedies funny. is he in? He's been Horrible Bosses. He was really funny. Uh, uh, he's been a lot of funny shows. Ready for the sleeper that nobody thinks about, but who I think is hands down the best? Andrew Schultz. Woody Harrelson. Oh! oh! Yeah. Woody yeah. on Cheers, Natural Born Killers. He's also Billy Hoyle, White Man Can't Jump. Not a big, big, Money not, a, not a big career of those comedies. Though. A true Robert. detective. Yeah. Murders it no, in no, true no. detective. I think as a dramatic actor, he's unfucking believable. I love him. By, by the way, I love, I love him. But I just think he didn't do a ton of them. No, White Boys Can't Jump. Wait, yeah. can't jump. They're redoing Fantastic. that, by the way. Okay, there's another one that, uh, who was it? I think it was Attell said this yesterday. Um, that I can't believe we're not thinking about. Uh, b -b 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 Bill Murray. Yeah, uh, yeah, I haven't enjoyed Bill Murray's dramatic. I you didn't like uh, the, the the Lost in Translation or no. some shit like that. Yeah, no, you care. That? Okay, fair enough. What? It wasn't that was bad. I just didn't care enough to basically. Holy shit! Look what he's doing. Yeah. Robin Williams. That was like, three. Goodwill was, that was Hunting. Three where but the thing about Robin Williams, is I don't like his comedy very much. Quite honestly. Exactly. I think his dramatic is unparalleled. Oh, some what's shit, the other dude. guy's name? Oh, Brian. Uh, not O'Brien. Oh, uh, ba 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 ba. He was in uh, Step Brothers with. Oh, John C. Riley. Oh, John, John C. Riley. He's a good one. There too. it is. He, I think he's actually the best. He he's might be the favorite. best because he's the funniest. Who can also do? A yeah, I also I, I, John I Goodman. Seen, I haven't seen him in a ton of drama. John, John Goodman's a great one. Okay, I I really like Bridges. I love Jeff Bridges. Love I think he's Jeff a Bridges. beast. And I think he's hysterical. Yeah, as Lebowski. Lebowski I mean, murders yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And then he's also dramatic and like Crazy Heart and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm a little bit of an alcoholic, man. No, I how about know. how about well, we're skipping over because we haven't watched that movie yet. Is fucking John Lithgow? Oh, Lithgow! A lot of yeah. comedy, a lot of drama, Harry drama, Harry. horror, huh? Harry and the Hendersons and Raising Cane. Uh, is is he funny when he's funny? Yeah. Third Rock from the Sun's like a hilarious. I mean, sitcom. people love oh, that's that. That's right. He was like it's in a, a legit sitcom, sitcom guy sitcom. for yeah. a long time, yeah, 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 and it's like, yeah. that was like a syndication sitcom. That like went on forever. I think he won an Emmy, or maybe that was Frazier. But him and area. Dexter, like he won an Emmy for De he was the best thing ever in Dexter. Yeah, as the dad ever. Yeah. Huh. He was amazing in that show. I mean, we only have like three minutes left. Can we watch the prom scene? Because you, yes. the reason you brought this up was because it, fuck the remake. I want to see the prom scene. Yeah, there's a prom scene where all of a sudden they're allowed. There's a fight, and then they're well, just. Well, here's the thing. My, my thing. They come down. There's the great goosebump moment when they go to the when they're all the town hall. Okay. Yeah. And John Lithgow basically just starts like you can tell by the speech he's given. Like, oh shit, he's about to give them their prom. Yeah. And he's like, go with God, be careful, just take care of yourselves. Up the right thing. Then that Logan song kicks in. Kenny Logan doom, scores. Doom, 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 doom. No, no, now it's I'm free. That oh. song kicking, which is great. And they Jay go, goes deep with Kenny Logan. So way like, deep. Oh, deep catalog. Deep, deep, deep. Yeah. Catalog. What do you want? His third, his yeah. third solo thing, yeah. or when he was with Messina? <laughs> <laughs> Jay um, goes deep with Kenny Logan. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, yeah. So what you go? So that song starts playing. They get the place all set up. He picks her up for the prom. They have that weird... Why, why is Kevin Bacon a great actor? Because he seems completely taken by this fucking toothpick wearing a fucking dress. I hate her. I hate her. I, hate her. I don't I understand the hate. Know, maybe the only woman I'd ever hit. Uh, <laughs> um, but he shows up. He takes her to the prom. Everyone just sitting around the prom. They got this prom. No one's interested in dancing at all. Okay. Then a fight ensues outside. Which that's is this? A, is that's it? A, that this is a... Isolated incident that no one seems to see except the people involved. Let's play it real quick. Just play it. We can yeah. talk over it. Sure. So this is the fight. Where they fight? So Willard shows up. Willard shows up with a young, still huge nosed Sarah Jessica Parker. Wait. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. SJP. And then the Hicks show up. They then don't like then it. then her. Other, now by the way, also oh, pause man. it again. I'm sorry. If we got damn it. We may have to come back to this subject. I'll tell you exactly why. My other problem with this. Why is Kevin Bacon so taken with this chick? The guy who's showing up to fight right now is the guy in the movie she was still fucking around with. She was going back and forth, being like, I don't know. And then that guy beat her up one day. Yeah. And, she goes, and then she's oh, like, I oh, I guess. That. And yeah, now she's yeah. like, oh, I guess I'm just with you now. And he's like, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dummy. Yeah. Really? Kevin Bacon really is an idiot. What an idiot. idiot. You're with the girl she's with you only because this guy beat the shit out of her because of you. Yeah. He, are, he only Dormat, beat him. He only beat ass Kevin Bacon. He, he, try, he tried to quit. <laughs> they did tractor chicken. He tried to quit. I remember But that. his shoelace got stuck. So he looks like a hero by accident. I can't. We got to go on. We got to do another day. <laughs> we got to right. do another day. I can't. 
Oh. It's going to take us into tomorrow, buddy. Yeah. I got a lot of thoughts. All right. Well, we'll get into a whole 80s movie thing that doesn't make sense. If you're listening and you want to call in tomorrow with some 80s movie storylines that don't add up to you, call in and do them. We'll play this out. Andrew- That'll be a lot of fun. We ended the show yesterday watching Footloose. You were uh, you watched a replay of Footloose and were angry. I did not watch it live. You are correct. You didn't watch the filming of it. <laughs> didn't they? Do I watched that? the old replay. Of they it. did one of those live Footloose. Oh no, they did a live <laughs> Grease. They did Grease. They did Rocky Horror. So I bet they do Footloose next. They, maybe. I'd be, be surprised. I'd watch that. Does the stage show ever? Oh. Yes, it was like a Broadway show. Absolutely. I think Rick uh, Chrome. Played Rick Chrome. Played John Lithgow's character? Played John Lithgow. That's great. Wow. Pretty sure of that. Look that up. Make sure I'm right about that. But I'm pretty sure, yeah. He was uh, he was Shaw. Um, Shaw Whore's dad. But I, mean, I don't know I, his last name. I think you're you're talking about what you wanted to bring up was the fact that there's dancing is completely outlawed in this town. It's outlawed. And then Kevin they Bacon. shut it down. John Lithgow gives the speech of, fine, you can have Brom. Yeah, here, take your prom jerk off. And then Kevin Bacon. Stop, hey, hey, in between you pork and my daughter here also, can you dance a little bit? Maybe I'm sorry, hey, maybe dance a little bit instead of nailing my daughter. Uh, whatever you want to get, baby girl. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Whatever you want, baby girl. Uh, we stopped at the fight where Chris Penn pulls up and then the Hicks, who you said was uh, he was sleeping with her. No, I mean, you didn't say Here's he was. Here's my problem with Footloose, and I love it. I find it to be a fun movie. They go to prom, nothing's happening. They worked this hard to get this thing to happen, and no one's doing anything. The guy picks his nose. Everyone's staring at each other. They look almost pissed off. Mm-hmm. Then outside, this fight. Chris happens. Penn shows up, which is right here, right. And now uh, Chuck, who's later played uh, same character played by Miles Teller. Yeah, so weird. Chuck, who's the guy, the main character girl was fucking when. Fucking Kevin Bacon came to town. And we have clearly stated on yesterday's episode that Jay is not a fan of this actress, this character. Laurie Singer, I don't like what I don't like what she stands for, what she's done in this movie. Her <laughs> characters her I character have had to take. defend her. Does anybody have my back on this? No. You either lose anything where it's like this chick, fuck this chick. Nah, I like him skinny. Yeah. No, no. It's not that she's skinny. What you're implying it? that I don't like him skinny, and then that you're doing a weird thing where you're tilting your head over to Christine. <laughs> he goes, girl, and she's right here. He goes, I don't know, I like him skinny, and then he looks at Christine, he goes, he's clearly uh, not your thing. Yeah. You're saying I, Lou wouldn't fuck me. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Lou wouldn't fuck me. I think both Lou's would fuck you, Christine. It makes you feel any better. So this fight happens. The fight is between a, a, a Chris Penn, yeah. Kevin Bacon's buddy in the movie, All shows right. up to the prom R. with... Uh, shows, yes, shows up to the prom with... Uh, a young SJP, Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, yeah. And Chuck... I was, a, I was a big fan of Sarah Jessica Parker before Sex and the City. She was in that movie with Bruce Willis in Pittsburgh, and they're on a boat. Mm-hmm. Uh, striking distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, let me say here. Chuck, who's just very coldly... Look, did he give Lori Singer a beat? And yeah. Does she have a punchable face? Absolutely. No, she doesn't. I don't know. Angel. I'm... Uh, Look at her. She's between. great. I think yeah. she's hot. I'd argue that she's the more attractive one of the two of them. I agree. Well, she's a girl, dimwit. Well, I agree with her, though. What is that? I mean... She's the more attractive? Well, as somebody that's attracted of, to both men and women, I would say she's the more attractive of the two. No, Christine's saying Sarah Jessica Parker and her. She's oh. more attractive. Than Sarah Jessica Parker? Oh, no. I'm saying oh. in this picture in the between Kevin Bacon Sarah and Sarah Jessica her. Parker is way cuter in this movie, I think. Okay. And well, she still has that, that Here's that fight scene that you were talking about. Yeah, but the fight is started by Chuck, who's got a right to have a gripe here. So this is a a play. This is from the movie Footloose. Chris Penn pulling up on a motorbike. God, man, look at him. He really came off the rails, huh? By best of the best, he looked, he was in tough shape. Oh, yeah, he got really heavy. So these are the the city, or the city, the Hicks. Lord, you promised you won't fight, right? Don't you look sweet. By the way, foreigners waiting for a girl like you blaring inside. You got to be like this. I'm going to make this quick because they got foreigner going on inside. <laughs> hey man, I, I don't want to get into a fight right now because they're actually they're playing my jam in there. Yeah, Did you guys foreigner? Did you guys know foreigner? They just came out. Brought my best gal. Yeah, <laughs> I have a feeling this girl's going to be a pretty big deal in New York. <laughs> I like the I think we're all. He pulls up. He goes. Oh, man, wait. He goes. As he's pulling up on the dirt bike, he's like, I st- I'm telling you this right now, if they're playing Foreigner, I'll fight someone to get inside. <laughs> By the way, SJP cutie. Yeah. Hit, right there. Hit play. Hey, what, Chuck? Oh, I got a little business with your friend McCormick. 
Chuck, cool it, all right? No fights tonight, okay? Hey, no fights, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Willard. <laughs> I, wait, if it I was, suck to live life with the name Willard. Yeah, but if I was friends with Chuck and he goes, no fight tonight, everyone laughs. I go, why are we laughing? Yeah, he goes, <laughs> he goes guys, I get the feeling like when he's not looking, we are, we're still going to fight, aren't we? I go, are we going to fight? They go, Dan, you're the worst member of this group. <laughs> Chuck goes, no, goes, no fighting tonight. I go, <laughs> you get excited. That's so when you got excited. He goes, he goes, guys, come on, no fights tonight. You go, oh, thank God. <laughs> he goes, oh. I was carrying. Hanging out with Chuck comes at a stiff price of at least I go, one fight a night. I go, is he cool? Yeah. Is he a hard hang sometimes? Absolutely. <laughs> I've been carrying around a ton of pressure on my back. Is he good at tractor chicken? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we became besties. So he ran me right off the cornfield. But yeah, Kevin Bacon's already... Listen, Kevin Bacon beat him in tractor chicken simply because his shoe was stuck. I guess never occurred to him to take his shoe off. Are you Team Chuck? I might be Team Chuck. I would come into the saying I'm a Ren McCormick man. But I, I understand Chuck's beef. Yet, Chuck violently beats the ever-living shit out of well, let's And really, play. there's no repercussions in the Midwest, <laughs> apparently, for that. He just shows up also again after night goes, now I'm coming for your boyfriend. If there's certain scenes in 80s movies, because I feel like the 80s really just let shit fly, where they're like, yeah, why not? We'll make that. It's like I mean, now, he beats her up so bad. But they, movies now, they're I think they're, they're so criticized that they have to nail everything. Because 80s, they just got away with shit. If there's 80s movies that you know what we're talking about, like where where you have a gripe with the plot point, is that how you would say it? Because mm -hmm. we were going to say have them call in on yesterday. But oh, I'm trying if there's to find anything out. where you... I've always... Uh, yeah, to give an example of what we're saying here, I always say Rambo. Uh, the cop picks up Rambo, asks mm -hmm. him where he's going. He says the next town over. He, he drives him. into the edge of town. Yeah. And lets him get out. And then goes, hey, have a great one, man. And then Rambo starts walking back the way he just came from, dropping him off. And he's like, hey, man, what are you doing? Like, you know, we have a quiet little town here. You're being sort of a weirdo in it, walking around in a military jacket with a big bag and not talking to anybody when they speak, when they speak to you. Yeah. I'm going to drive you to the edge of town. And then comes, and he keeps going, hey, man, maybe just get out of here. If at the end of that ride, Rambo just went, Thanks for the ride, officer. And just tap the top of the car and get walking. Yeah. There's no Rambo. There's no Rambo at all. You know what it is? Brian Denny, he goes back to his house that night and watches Monday Night Football. Forgets all about it. He goes, he goes, I see my guys. He goes, ah, I gave yes. a war vet a ride today. Pretty cool of me. I think the Seahawks are playing the Vikings. they got to get <laughs> home tonight. <laughs> yeah, ah. Seahawks and the Vikings all Monday night. Ah. Let's get back to this fight. Yeah. I got money on Willard. Cute. No fights, Willard. Damn, man. Kicked him I in the butt. You, all right? I and the, the, old, the old walk by kick in the butt. I know it well. Fight tonight, okay? Oh, that's. It, escal it escalated for sure. By the way, that's the guy who started with a light ass kick into that, a wild face immediately sucker punch. But by the way, that's the guy that's standing next to me in the group of Chuck. Where I go, ah, we're not going to fight tonight. The guy goes, ah, I go, why are you still laughing? <laughs> why is everyone laughing for? And then he just goes, watch. Oh, shit, guys, we're going to fight still, aren't he we? He goes, watch. I go, I don't want to grab the girl. Do I have to grab the girl? <laughs> I always hate being this guy. Ah, the whole time you're yelling at he goes, it'll be over soon. It'll be over soon. I go, oh, God. I'm sorry. I, I just got to hold you. It'll be over soon. Move to New York. Become a flat. Uh, become a writer. <laughs> You'll find your true love. Hit play. And I promise Rusty no fights tonight, okay? Yeah. And then the fight ensues. Oh, Chuck going after it. Oh, Willard. Oh, Willard. Kill the son of a bitch! Kill somebody! Willard! By the way, also in this fight, I'd like to point out, Willard throws a guy, pushes a guy into Chuck, and then for way too long, Chuck and that guy can't seem to figure out getting apart. Goes, if you go back a little bit, watch when other things are happening. Those two guys are still like, you know, like, oh, what is, what's happened? I've never had another person uh, this close to me before. It's, it's me. I'm going, Chuck, I just can't get back in there. I don't want to do this. <laughs> watch, watch. You, there, you said if I left my house, I was going to have to fight tonight. <laughs> Look at this. Watch. So Willard's first act in this fight. Throws him into Chuck. Throws a punch. Watch. Ah. I mean, they just separated. They just settled it. Now Kevin hey, Bacon's gonna come get some. Yeah, you're a goddamn hero when it's five to one. Swipe kick. Oh. Get the oh. oh. I'd like to point oh. out also, there's a film flub here that no one's gonna that we're gonna have to point out. Kevin Bacon takes a bit of a beating. Yeah, one a bit two. Of a when the fight's over and they win, spoiler alert, uh, they win as they're walking back inside. His suit completely dusty. His face bloody and cut in spots. Walks through those magical doors of prom, 
Screams out less dance, face perfect. All right, let's see it. Nope. The rest of the dance segment of the movie, which perfect is the rest face. of the movie, face is perfect. Well, maybe he's got Wolverine powers. I did not. Christine, pause it again, Dan. I did not give any any thought to the possibility that maybe he has Wolverine powers. <laughs> it is Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Uh, maybe Kevin Bacon is Weapon 9. And then uh, Wolverine as well. By the way, what a holy shit moment happening that you paused on. <laughs> yeah, good flip. Oh, yeah. Self defense. Oh, oh, good Muay Thai. Uh, I mean, that's the end of a fight. Uh, oh. You're going to dance now, McCormick, huh? Oh, pipe oh. fight. Oh. Wow, karate kick. Oh. oh. He wins with so many kicks. Oh, he's just kick heavy. By the way. You could pretend that this is Chris Penn's tryout for the best of the best team. Uh, what you should pretend is the fact that how are we going to sit here and try to buy that two guys uh, who are very good at dancing wearing tuxedos beat up, count them, six hillbillies. Yeah, wearing fucking... Work. Versus two twinkle toes in tuxedos. Let me tell you right now, those hillbillies are also in some work boots and some <laughs> Levi's, so they are good to go for any job. <laughs> Rugged tough. Chucking his boys. If you ever got your ass kicked <laughs> by easy. some dancing twink like Kevin Bacon, I recommend you put on some Levi's. <laughs> Levi's, they're for fighting dancing ninnies. <laughs> Go ahead, he knocks him out. Good job, Kevin. Now look at his face. He's going through some shit. Hey, it's a great dance, man. <laughs> They both happen to win their respective fights. Like fight or something. He goes, I, I think one of them's really hurt. Oh. <laughs> the, if you put like really, you know, like the fucking, the noise, like real fight noises, like world star hip hop noises, like one of them snore knocking out and his arms are straight. <laughs> Guys, what, what happened? Uh, what happened? He's seizing. Oh, He's God. seizing up. Oh, He's seizing up. He throws up. <laughs> Is that the ultimate dance? I believe so, yes. Pensé que había una fiesta aquí. Oh. Hey, hola, amiga. Hola, amiga. Fiesta. That is so great. I'm so glad that you fucking... That's the great. The Spanish version. No. And now the Twin Cities best DJ. Don't, 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 don't. Pensé que había una fiesta. By the way, Lou... That's got to be a drop. Uh, I thought this was a party. Let's dance yeah. in Spanish. That should be something that's always said. Yay! Hey, tengo para mi esta. Me gusta bailar. I am Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished healing us. Um, yeah. I thought this was a party. Let's dance. <laughs> Professionally, I mean, everyone's so good. Okay, that guy can nail it. <laughs> look, look, it's very white dancing, for sure. But just at first, no one was dancing. I was like, oh wait, I forgot. We all have crazy skills at this. Why are we just being wallflowers? And the girl just took her glasses off the guy's face, and he was like, oh yeah, no, I can see. Fucking Willard just tards out hardcore. <laughs> I don't know what that... All those lessons... Kevin Bacon's got to be shaking his head in the corner like, I thought this guy worked this game for six months. He goes, it did not stick. No idea what he's doing. Oh. All right. Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Oh, he was the shit. He's got flips. He yeah. danced it all himself. That was like a big... Like, he's a dancer. Oh, he must have. Did he do the dancing? Yeah. Patrick Swayze did all his fucking... I mean, Patrick Swayze is a god. Yeah. Well, Patrick Swayze's dead. Yeah, How many well... gods are dead to you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's the first god who got pancreatic cancer? Weird. Yeah. I don't know. Is that how Odin died? Anyone who got yeah. any information Nep on that? It's just Neptune. <laughs> Neptune possibly died yeah. uh, from <laughs> pancreatic cancer? Did he ever fuck Jennifer Grey? I think got pancreatic cancer. They, uh, um, so this whole fancy every they're choreographed now. They have choreographed numbers. The whole thing is just wrong. If you think about this, is their first time using cocaine? This movie makes a lot more sense. He had four stunt doubles. Oh, what? Kevin Bacon had four stunt doubles. One for each limb. Uh -huh. 
A stunt double, a dance double, and two gymnastics doubles. I mean, that's him right there. Yeah, and it's all choreographed. Also, he's not da- dancing with his date. He's just dancing by himself. She's like, what a And va- dudes! What a vain asshole. He's like, sorry, babe. I've been working this out with Willard for a while now. And these aren't very good dance moves either. Uh, school whore just jumped in. <laughs> That's that girl. You know that girl sucked a few in the bathroom. <laughs> Absolutely. She's like, she's the one. Just why does she always get A in social studies and she never shows up? Because she's blowing Mr. Richardson. She says, "I caught him in Lucille's barn." This motherfucker yeah. comes out. Why would you live in a town with no dancing if you want to do robot dancing professionally? <laughs> yeah, you. He's are like, the- well, you know, it's a good school. It's a good tech school. He goes, yeah, could move to New York, the forefront of popping and locking. But I was living in my little Indiana town. Hey, you know what? I'm going to stay out here in Utah. Look at this guy. Oh, thank God you happen to have a last-minute prom put together so I could showcase that. Oh, here we go. Oh, by the way. Oh, yeah, also, I, I mastered breakdancing. Shut up. about master. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, Chuck and his friends is coming with a rifle, and you're like, oh, God, what happened? It's the darker version of Footloose. Hang on, we have a few calls here. Uh, we already figured one. Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl in Pennsylvania. Just gonna send it. Send it. <laughs> Let's see. Cheryl, you. you there, Cheryl? Pardon? Wait, let me turn you up. No, don't. Okay, please. say that again. Hey, Cheryl. Uh, you're on the Hi. bonfire. This is Jay and Dan. Um, you say here that Kevin Bacon was indeed not dancing in Footloose. Ever? Are you saying he never was? Uh, he might have done a little stuff, but when you when he's dancing across the barn or whatever, that wasn't him. Oh, no. That scene is just... That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen somebody do in my life. Forget <laughs> even that. I turned on Footloose the other day, passed that scene, or I would have come and talking about that. I always forget about that the scene. The angry dance? The angry... Yeah, the angry dance. That was perfectly parodied in the movie Hot Rod. Yeah. I, I mean, they really made fun of it in that great. I always do an anger dance whenever I'm upset. I mean, really, but I mean, just like smoking. He's like, time to take off my sweatshirt and just really rip in some illegal dance moves ah, here in this barn. Ah. Some of his dance moves involving, by the way, a giant chain swing. Yeah. I think Kevin Bacon, this was a, um, how do you say, I think this was like, you could easily say he just came into the town and sold Coke. He's a Coke dealer. Replace dancing with cocaine. That's oh, more sense. well, no. What's funny is somebody tries to plant cocaine on him at some point. Really, it's been movie. probably twenty years since I've seen that movie. Oh, you are you are cheating yourself, my friend. Did we lose Cheryl? Cheryl, yeah. Yeah, gave up. Cheryl, us. Cheryl. Um, uh, we don't take the call, uh, but PJ in North. Actually, you can put him on PJ in North Carolina. Let me st- let me set PJ straight for a minute. Um, PJ, you there, bud? Hey, bud. I'm here, Crackle Crackle. Crackle Crackle, dude. PJ, you say that uh, Rambo, you want to know, wasn't he trying to find his old buddy in that town he was in? Uh, he was, but he found out right away that he was dead. So it was time oh. to move on. It was time for him to move on. Cop gave him a ride through town, took him right to the edge of town. Could have said thank All you right. and went about his business, but instead he kept pushing. He kept pushing. <laughs> he says they drew first blood, and they did, but he kept pushing. You're right. And you know what? Also, I think we could blame his buddy for dying. I mean, his buddy just needs to stay alive, and Rambo's there. And then I really, it did cause him to mentally break down at yeah. one point. I guess the real villain here is Vietnam. Yep, and we've learned a lot today.